What's up guys, who loves making beer? I know I do, I mean I'm terrible at it, but I love making it. And so if you're watching this video, you probably like making beer and you've probably been a little more successful than I have in my own personal experiments in my kitchen making my wife hate me. So if you're still with me here, I wanna to talk to you about brewery insurance. Now I know it's not exactly what you wanna be discussing, but it could be the big, big difference between your brewery thriving and something terrible happening and putting you out of business entirely. So let's go into exactly what the pieces of what makes brewery insurance a whole policy and then we can walk you through what you need and then why you need it. So there are four main pieces that make up a complete brewery insurance policy and those are general liability, liquor liability, property coverage, and then miscellaneous coverage. And I'm very aware that that last one is cheating and I'm lumping a lot of other stuff into one main thing, but hey, it fits into a heading, so just go with me on it. So let's get into exactly what each of those things are and we'll talk very briefly about why you need what you need. All right, so the first piece of coverage is general liability. So general liability, in a nutshell, is the coverage that you need if something happens to a customer or to someone that's on your premises while they're there, and it also protects you from a whole slew of lawsuits or legal problems that could arise if something happens not only in-house, but if something happens outside in the world, things like slander and libel, that kind of thing. So this is kind of a blanket piece of protection that protects you from a whole lot of things you could be responsible for, or in another way of putting it, liable for, thus the name. Okay, the second part of brewery insurance is liquor liability. And so what liquor liability does is it protects you from the responsibility of what happens to people who drink in your establishment and do something bad. So for example, if someone gets drunk at your brew pub and then they go out and get into an accident and they're convicted with drunk driving and they say, well, it's not my fault, it's the guy at the brew pub who served me when I was drunk that's exactly what this coverage protects you from. So it protects you from the responsibility for people who are enjoying your wonderful, wonderful beer on premises, and then they go out into the world and do something stupid. All right, the third thing that this covers is property coverage. So property coverage is what you think of when you think, hey man, I need insurance. Property covers your building, it covers your stuff, it covers all of your gorgeous pieces of equipment that you like secretly lust over at night when you're at home. It covers everything that you need to do what you do to make great beer. So property coverage covers your stuff, the actual physical things that make up your business. All right, so miscellaneous coverage, like I said, is kind of a catch-all for a lot of other things that you're gonna need. But the reason I say miscellaneous is because not everyone's going to need every piece of this. So for example, everyone obviously needs workers' compensation insurance that is legally mandated, you have to have it. And if you have a number of employees, then you've gotta have it. But, for example, if you don't own a car, if your business does not own a van or a truck or, or whatever, then you don't need business auto insurance. So there are some other optional things that are included in this miscellaneous category that I think you probably do need, but that are really optional and some people decide they don't need it. So things like employment practices liability insurance. This protects you if employees sue you for a lot of things and actually that's one of the most common lawsuits that happens to businesses today. Another thing is cyber liability insurance. So in our hack happy world, you need to be protected if a lot of your information is on a computer. And unless you're using an abacus to watch this video, you probably need that too. So breweries come in all shapes and sizes. And the good thing about brewery insurance is you can use the same format, these four main pieces of coverage, and adapt it to pretty much any brewery in the country. If you're just getting started, you don't need all of the coverage that we talked about in the miscellaneous, but you do need all four pieces of coverage. And we can adapt it for you and tailor make a policy that fits your brand new, just started, you've got a pale ale and an IPA, and that's all you do, we can get you covered. But at the same time, let's say you do 30 different beers and you've got 
tons and tons of tanks and you've got three facilities and you've got five big beautiful new trucks that you just splurged on to go ahead and distribute this stuff everywhere, well, then you're going to need a very specific kind of policy that can really cover you the way you need to be covered. So the good thing about brewery insurance is that it's flexible, it can do whatever you need, and it can cover you regardless of where you're at in life. Now the only way we can know exactly what kind of coverage you need is if you talk to us. So if you're watching this right now and you found this at all helpful, please click on the link below. And that way we can get in touch with each other and really figure out how we can help best serve you by giving you the policy you need, or at the very least going over the policy you already have, and making sure that you've got the coverage you need to be successful. So go ahead and click on that. Let's set aside a time to talk. I will put you in touch with one of our fantastic producers who specialize in this, and we can really make sure that you're covered the way you deserve to be covered. All right, guys, thanks for watching this, and go out there and make beer better than I can.